breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Bia friends cry out for Namdekanu's release. Bia friends cry out for Namdekanu's release. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has cried out for the release of their leader, Mazi Unamdikanu, who is currently in the DSS detention in Abuja. The group reported that Kanu has heart problems and some mineral deficiencies which require specialist attention. Adding the federal government had refused to release him as ordered by the court. In a statement by IPOB Media and Publicity Secretary, Ima Powerful, the group also accused the government of preventing their leader from access to his personal physicians. Instead, they have resulted in patronizing roadside pharmacies for his drug, which we see as a systematic and gradual diminishing and killing of his life and final elimination method. Nigerian government has deliberately planned to eliminate Mazeo Namdi Oko Chuko Kanu, who is illegally detained in DSS solitary confinement. Mazi Kanu is battling a heart problem and some mineral deficiencies which require medical specialist attention. But the Nigerian government have refused to release him as Nigerian court ordered nor have they allowed him access to his personal physicians. Instead, they have resulted in patronizing roadside pharmacies for his drug, which we see as a systematic and gradual diminishing and killing of his life and final elimination method. A few days ago, IPOB legal team members and a brother of Mazu Namdekanu visited him in the DSS custody where he informed them that DSS agents have not given him his prescription of drugs for nine days and more. More so, DSS hasn't given him food for some days, claiming that they don't have money for his food and drugs. We, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, therefore call on the Nigerian government to release Mazi Unamdekanu immediately if they can't afford his medications and food. IPOP is more than capable to provide for our leader the best medical services in the world and can give him any food of his choice, but it is their responsibility to ensure that he fits well with good medical attention because they are illegally renditioned in. IPOB will not take it lightly with them if anything untoward happens to him. They cannot succeed in breaking him down. We in IPOB understand the recent actions of DSS as a plot to systematically diminish and finally kill Mazi Unamdekanu by starving him of his drugs and food. But we wish to remind the Nigerian government and all who are remotely interested in Nigeria to bear in mind that IPOB and in fact Biafrans will wage unending wars if anything untoward happens to Mazi Unamdekanu. This is not a threat but a promise that generations of Biafrans must keep even after Biafra Nation has been restored. 
the indigenous people of Biafra Lipop has cried out for the release of their leader, Mazu Namdekanu, who is currently in the DSS detention in Abuja. The group reported that Kano has heart problems and some mineral deficiencies which require specialist attention. Adding the federal government had refused to release him as ordered by the court. In a statement by IPOB Media and Publicity Secretary, Ima Powerful, the group also accused the government of preventing their leader from access to his personal physicians. Instead, they have resulted in patronizing roadside pharmacies for his drug, which we see as a systematic and gradual diminishing and killing of his life and final elimination method. Nigerian government has deliberately planned to eliminate Mazi Unambioku Choko Kado, who is illegally detained in DSS solitary confinement. Mazi Kanu is battling heart problems and some mineral deficiencies which require medical specialist attention, but the Nigerian government have refused to release him as Nigerian courts ordered, nor have they allowed him access to his personal physicians. Instead, they have resulted in patronizing roadside pharmacies for his drug, which we see as a systematic and gradual diminishing and killing of his life and final elimination method. A few days ago, IPOB legal team members and a brother of Mazi Unamdekanu visited him in the DSS custody, where he informed them that DSS agents have not given him his prescription drugs for nine days and more. Also, DSS hasn't given him food for some days, claiming that they don't have money for his food and drugs. To so my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.